Okay, so in this um, segment, we're going to talk about uh, how to add transitions in between segments and putting certain effects onto a clip of your uh, of your movie. So we're going to add a new um, a new clip to our timeline here. Let's come over to projects here, and again, if it's not there for some reason, you click on the chevron, and you should see the projects there. Um, come to video. And for this one, we're going to use the Star Wars clip here. So double click on that. And you should see it in your work area here. Go ahead and close the bin. Because this clip is only like 30 seconds long, we're not going to edit it up here in the uh, workspace. We're going to chop it up and edit it actually in the timeline. So click and drag somewhere in the middle of the picture and drag it down to the timeline and put the whole thing down there. Okay, I'm going to scroll over just a little bit. Now, the first thing we're going to do is put a, an, a transition from the general to the Star Wars clip. We're going to put a transition between those two clips. So I'm going to come over here to our bin area and click on that chevron. And here's where we find our different effects. So click on that little li list, click on effects, and if you scroll up here, you can see... Uh, the, uh, we have a couple different types of audio effects and audio transitions. Then we have video effects and video transitions. And this first one here is going to be a video transition. Go ahead and choose that. I'm going to come down to page peel. And I'm just going to click on page peel and click and drag it over to our timeline and put it on top of our um, Star Wars movie clip. And then now when you drag the ahead over it you can see how it transitions by like peeling a page off to the next one there we go um, and that's it's as easy as that uh, now we're going to add an effect um, so we're going to make a little clip or, or we're going to cut up uh, this a little bit and I'm going to scroll to in my timeline about 30 seconds here when CP3O uh, and R2D2 um, I'm going to make a dash for it. So I'm going to kind of go forward and they want to cut across the hallway and I'm just kind of for for uh, forwarding one frame at a time until I'm going to bring them back here. So right here is where the transition is. We're going to make a cut. And so to do that um, we're going to use the razor tool. So I'm going to put the um, playhead where I want to cut is helps so you know what's going to happen. Click the razor tool and then it'll kind of snap to where that cut is. So here we're going to do another quick little transition here. Um, and this time we might do, uh, let's see what we want to do. We'll put, uh, I'm going to come up to transitions and we'll do a 3D motion for this one. So do 3D motion and then I'm just going to do a cube spin. So you click and drag that over again, same type of thing. Now if you notice this, um, if you, um, let me zoom in here a little bit, you can see that the cube spin starts on the last segment and finishes on the next segment. If I'm going to change my razor to a selection tool, and you can come over here and maybe actually make the transition longer or shorter. So I'm just going to exaggerate this, and you can see now how slow it turns over or you can click and drag it and make it shorter so now the transition is quicker and I should be able to if I just wanted it to do it all on one clip and not the other so here it doesn't start until the beginning of the next clip I can do it that way too so you can adjust and play with this transitions, depending on the transition. Some some will let you some transition will let you do it, some will not. So kind of play with that and kind of make it the way you want. So there's a couple transitions. Again, you can come and play with the different dissolves or irises or um, you know swipes. Um, you all you have several different options over here you can play with depending on what your clip is doing some may work same some may not you'll have to play around with that a little bit 
So there are a couple uh, transitions between clips. Now I'm going to show you how to do a, a couple different effects. So we're going to uh, play this and you can see the blasters um, going across the screen in red. So the red kind of laser. Uh, there's, there's a way you can kind of add a few kind of effects similar to that. Um, I'm going to show you one that's called lightning. So we're going to come down here, we're going to add a little lightning to um, Darth Vader when he comes in. So we're going to come in and wait till Darth Vader stops moving. So right here, right about here when he stops walking, he'll pause. We want to put a, a cut in here. So cut that and that's where our, our effect will start. And then... Wait, see how it zooms in? I'm going to come back to the spot right here where he stop, where he zooms in. And I'm going to make another cut right at that. So now we're just talking about this area right, this short clip right here where he's really not moving. We're going to add an effect to that. Um, so we're going to come over here. Um, I'm going to close my video transitions. And I'm going to click on my video effects and come down to a generate and one of the options we can generate is lightning so you're going to click and drag the lightning effect um, on top of the clip and when you drop it on there you can see lightning was automatically created uh, on the screen and you can click in it and it's now we want to adjust this a little bit. It's a pretty cool effect, but we just want to adjust it a little bit. So in order to adjust it, first of all, I'm going to take my mouse and change the razor to a pointer. Right now I'm going to come up here to the top. So we, we've done the effects, inserted the effect down here, but to customize the effect, we have to come up to the very top and choose the effect uh, menu. There we go. Under the effect menu, now you can see our properties for the effect. Sort of like what we did before. Here's our little animation here. Uh, for the starting point and ending point, I'm going to change the way this looks. So I'm going to bring the starting point in and I'm going to bring it down here. And then the ending point, I'm going to bring it in and up. There we go. So now we have the lightning going across Darth Vader. You can also play with this a little bit. Uh, if you scroll down, look at the other ones. You can increase the speed a little bit. Um, you can give it a little wider lightning. Um, you can change, you know, the color, uh, the colors if you want. Um, you know, just play with it a little bit and have some fun effects. So now when we play it, right, for that particular clip right in here, he's got some lightning to it. Okay? Now the next clip we're going to talk about is um, he's kind of zoomed in on his face. And what we want to do here is sometimes you want to zoom in on something even closer. So we're choosing his face only because um, it's simple um, to help teach you the technique. So we've already stopped it here. And now we're going to have to come in until he stops, starts moving again. So right along, right around here, when he starts walking, we want to make another cut. So come the razor, boom, and now we have this short clip here where he's just kind of turning and looking, okay? So the effect we want for that, come up here, is um, a zoom. Uh, so I have to come back, oh, uh, so right now I'm, I'm and here under effects, I need to come up to the top, come back to editing. So come up to the top, click on editing. That will bring us back to our traditional screen. Um, and we want to go and find the um, zoom um, effect. So let's, um, let's find the video effect uh, distort and open up our different ways we can store it and you know I call it zoom they call it ma uh, magnify so that's kind of what we're going to do is magnify this so click on magnify click and drop it on top of that clip and now you notice that there's a circle placed inside that it's kind of have everything zoomed in
we want to adjust this a little bit so I'm going to come to the top and choose my effects menu on the top and here are the properties for the effect so uh, again uh, on the shape we're going to leave it a circle um, but we want to move it so I'm going to choose where it says center here I'm going to click and drag it um, and then we want to increase the size a little bit make his head a little bigger right and now when you click and drag you can see his face is looked and then at the end it zooms back out so it gives a little more menacing okay um, and so let me um, come back to editing mode and now when we back up and just play it you can see he's got a little lightning and then his face is zoomed in on and then it's back to normal okay so those are a couple different effects you can do uh, you can choose any of the effects and they all kind of work the same way and just to kind of show you here you know again under the distort options I'm going to click and choose this warp wave warp I'm going to click and drag it over here and drop it onto the last clip here and as soon as you do that notice that when they're walking away it just looks a little warped okay so that gives you and again if you wanted to customize that you come up to the top to the effects um, let me click and drag this back and you can play with the properties here of this effect to change it to the way you want. Okay, so there's a couple quick and easy down and dirty ways to add some effects and some transitions to your uh, clip. Which ones you use depends on which, what you want to get out of it. To get back to where we were, remember you come to the top and you have to choose the editing menu at the top and that brings us back to our traditional workspace where we want uh, where we're getting our stuff done.